and a donation here, $25 from Wub Dub's man saying, so excited for Turnip Boy and all of his hats. Silly block, best block, and I can't believe I get to watch it live and in person. Oh, excellent. Well, uh, you're excited for it. It's happening now. I'm taking you back one more time to the main stage. Turnip Boy commits tax evasion with Eldritch Wolfie right now. All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, glad you made it to this early morning run. <laughs> Woo, it's early. All right. Uh, I'm Eldritch Wolfie. I will be uh, making this turnip boy go real quick. Uh, I have two people on my couch here, and I will let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Happy by Three. Um, I also run Turnip Boy. <laughs> and I am Irar. I also run Turnip Boy. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, being modest over there. Uh, Being honest, right. I see. So before I uh, begin here, uh, two things, or a couple things. Uh, one, uh, the incentive or the bid war is I want it is continuous. So if anything happens to get above, what is it, bird hat currently? Uh, that is correct. Correct. Anything gets above bird hat, I will be switching mid run. Uh, bird hat does come a little bit late into the run, uh, but as soon as I gain access to it. We'll be going and getting it. Uh, and also, for every death, I will be donating $5. Yeah. So, uh, let's go. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> We're in it. Tax evasion starts immediately. We just evaded our taxes. That's the game. GG. <laughs> Um, but then the mayor gets mad at us for evading our taxes and sends us on a bit of a fetch quest. I know, those darn mayors. So, just starting to do a little bit of our early collect-a-thon, getting, getting the flower there that'll be a side quest at some point, getting a watering can that lets us do things. Um, this damage is intentional. That wasn't just messy movement. That's uh, taking some damage for a death warp later. You might notice there's a timer on screen because the devs are awesome and gave us a built-in speedrun timer, but the timer stops and tells you the run failed if uh, you save and quit. So we take intentional deaths to death warp back to Mayor Onion uh, rather than save and quitting so that we don't lose our time. So we're just going to run into a snail and we die. Aww. And the flavor text on some of these things are always so, so much fun because that soil sword just said it was dangerous to grow alone. <laughs> One person in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Got to rip up some more tax documents. We had our uh, <laughs> had our 2023 W2 ripped it up. So there we we chat with a friend who's a uh, Twitch streamer, and she wants us to sub. So we bought a tier three sub. And I believe I believe Slay Queen there was saying that they are the best Fork Knight player as well. Yes, the best Fork Knight player in the whole world. So we get assigned 8 by 10, and we tear it in half. You might notice a running theme with how we treat documents in this game. Yeah, I don't think anybody likes reading in this game. No. No. Although, as Especially you'll see, when we're trying to run it as best as possible. Exactly. And in this next room, you'll notice this turnip has incredible strength because the first time in the game, we pick up an entire book and tear it in half. That's far more than I could ever do. Yeah. I probably couldn't even get the W2. Yeah, little, little baby arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, barely too far on that bomb. Yeah, still on top of it. Yeah, do you want to talk yeah, about yeah. Um, those... Uh, all of the mechanics there, Rar? Um, if you're a little more versed in the game, what we'll do is we'll pick up various items. Like, uh, just before the book, we picked up the boom boots to be able to kick these boom blooms. Because otherwise, uh, you have water on one, uh, otherwise they'll explode in place. So they're not even really technically bombs. They're boom blooms instead. You got to uh, Occasionally, you'll see us uh, trip and use a watering can. That's what we'll refer to as like a water slide. You can do uh, similar tricks with another item as well that we would get later. This is our first boss fight. Um, it takes a whole lot of hits if you try to use the sword, but we can just kind of manipulate the pig to go to that corner, throw three bombs at it, and it's over. Yep. We love a boss fight that ends before we get to start explaining it. 
and it even explodes into bacon. <laughs> now we get our first heart fruit because it wouldn't be a uh, Zelda look-alike Zelda homage if we didn't have heart pieces after boss fights. And now we're going to talk to this guy real quick. That starts one of the many side quests in our lovely little collectathon, and then we're going to blow ourselves up because it's faster than walking back. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Other times it's faster to walk back. Uh, actually, right. Uh, because it was mentioned earlier uh, during the Tropical Freeze, here's the crown. <laughs> this is going to be the first that we grab uh, during this route. Yeah, so that's our first of many hats that Turnip Boy can wear. Um, as soon as we are able to get the bird hat, we're going to put that on, and we're going to rip up this receipt from the Home Depot. Bye. Um, as soon as we can, we're going to put bird hat on, but we have to do some stuff first. So pre-bird hat, we're going to wear whatever the game gives us. <laughs> now we pay a visit to Onion again, and he wants us to go get a uh, four-pronged spear, otherwise known as a fork. <laughs> So right there, um, at the very, very beginning, we collected that flower from the blueberry up in the top right. We just brought it down to that strawberry, and the strawberry was like, oh my god, this is so nice. Here's a love letter to the blueberry, and we ripped it in half. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be very pleased about that. <laughs> the crowd is very pleased about the uh, <laughs> object ripping. <laughs> oh, we found a lost baby carrot in that trash can. Now we need to bring it back to its babysitter. But we'll stop here and get another receipt and rip that one in half, too. And then it's faster to just mash our face into this worm a few times, but you'll notice uh, Wolfie is kind of going to the right of the worm to get around because those three guys standing in our way there are the IRS. And if you get too close to them, uh, the roll button is the same as the talk button. So if you get too close to the IRS while you're trying to roll into the worm and take damage, you'll just talk to the IRS and they waste your time, like the IRS. Hooray, we oh, returned crazy. a baby and we were given a stool, which feels like an, an equivalent exchange. I think, I've watched enough Full Metal Alchemist. I think you can uh, trade a stool for a baby, right? Yeah, it sounds right. Okay. Uh, why don't we, uh, Prolix, why don't you give us a donut while we walk back to this uh, farmhouse down here? Just okay, you got it. I have a donation of $25 here from Finn the Lemon Boy saying, <laughs> donating for the great cause. Let's hope that the best boy's taxes are done the quickest way by tax evasion. May Liz <laughs> fight have mercy on you. Can we get true 100% next year? Good luck, Wolfie. Uh, I don't know about true 100%. That sounds more like a raw thing. All right, There's so we're, we're a true 100 us. category. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. We'll figure it out. We're into our second area now, so we had that first oh. area with the uh, Slay Queen and all, all that and our first boss. Now we've moved on to a second nice dilapidated area because we got to go get that fork. So we're going to talk to talk Deb. To... Oh, you're good. I was going to say, we're gonna go, we get to talk to Deb, the Cosmic Brownie. Yeah, and the Cosmic Brownie says, I've got a fork, but you have to earn it. So we'll earn our fork. First step in that is bringing the nurse all of the medical items. We have the face mask, we have the medicine, and we have, it's 6 a.m. Um, she gives us the key we need, and now we can forge ever onwards. Those, the lollipop gang there, is, they're, they're just mean. They like to bully you in that hallway. Yeah, you have to walk through that hallway twice and get bullied both times. I want to say one of the first yeah. optimizations nice. that in was this really run nice. was going under the enemies there. Yeah, absolutely. And still one of the ones I miss most often. <laughs> I can't count how many times I get bullied there. So now we have to uh, pick up another lost baby. So you got to take care of those guys, pick up a document, and rip our draft notice in half. Not only tax evasion, but draft dodging. Now we've got a, a baby cherry, and we're going to bring that back to a larger cherry. You, you might notice sometimes uh, Wolfie is moving kind of like down and up and around. Again, 
our roll button is the same as the button to talk to NPCs. So a lot of times our movement is, might look a little unoptimal in terms of the path we take, but what it really is is we need to move as quickly as possible without yeah. another one. We need to move as fast as we can without um, talking to an NPC on accident. Ra, you want to talk about cat strats? You're way better no, at cats than me. This is actually the first fight that has uh, RNG heavily added in it for us because the cat can take multiple different paths to start with, and what we're going for. Oh, that was a really good cat. <laughs> that went way better than you thought. Sure. That went very, very well. Had that cat go off on a wild tangent, and I'll be <laughs> in the room for like a good two minutes, and then there's other times it'll be 20 seconds. Oh yeah. Plenty of times, if you don't get it on that kind of first cycle, sometimes it'll just roll over to the corner and you can't hit it with any of the bombs. Um, those, those bombs that we push around only move in four directions. And so if it's not within a cardinal direction with a hitbox, too bad. <laughs> There's no way to fix it until it moves. So we got our fork. Fortunately, we have to give it up to Onion. Yeah, and before we leave, we need to uh, progress some more side quests. Talk to Pickle Gang twice. Only once. Only twice once now, later. twice later. <laughs> that was me trying to remind you, and I was wrong. <laughs> this might be a decent time for one or two donations. We're just walking back a bit, yeah. Right on. Uh, first up, an order of business. Just wanted to mention, uh, as we approach $900,000 raised, Last time I mentioned it, we were like 7,500 away. We're less than 6,000 away now. Let's go. Woo. And don't forget, we have the, the bid war open right now. The hat choice of what's being worn in the game is up to you. Bird hat is still in the lead when we get to that. Uh, but if you'd like a top hat or something else, as long as you're in there donating anyway, put your money toward that. And then just real quick comment for you, uh, $25 from Mr. Rick W001, good luck, you've got this. Kind of funny that I get that while making the wrong <laughs> uh, pathing there. Yeah, so now, because we've completed enough stuff, the IRS moved out of the way, now we can go into the woods. But first, we got to pick up this wanted poster, and you'll never believe what we did with it. <laughs> the whole two dollars. So now, you know, you might have noticed from Deer Simulator, um, here in Silly Block, we like to play more than one game when we play games, so we're going to play Portal. You got blue this, ones, this, you got orange this, ones. This rabbit is... <laughs> that is not the right direction. It reactivated him, at least. Those, those rabbits can definitely be rude getting in the way of everything. No, they can also get in the way after you push a bomb. So this yeah. is our next fight, deer. Our uh, our deer fight happens in three phases. So this first one, we're gonna hit it nine times. It runs away, and then we can move on to the next phase. See, it's a giant mushroom. It's not anything else. It's just a big mushroom. It's such a cute drawing. That room's a really good example of what I was talking about with Wolfie taking some. Um, Path, maybe not straight line paths, but they're actually faster. Um, you can kind of reset your roll when you take damage from that uh, that sludge, that like green goop up in the right corner and bottom left corner. So um, if you roll into that, you can immediately roll back, and it's actually faster than just going in a straight line. And I say roll. Um, officially speaking, we are tripping, not rolling. We're a little too clumsy to roll around. I believe, canonically, Turnip Boy is only about three days old. We're just a baby. We don't even know what taxes are. How and can they blame he's us? Committing, he's committing tax evasion already. No, they learn so fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, that, that is a good example of brain moving faster than I am. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these puzzles are very, like, the fastest solution is very, very specific and precise. And as you saw there, if you do one step in the sequence a little bit wrong, it will literally blow up and you can't finish the puzzle until you restart. But we got through it. We're on to our second fight with a, a famed protagonist from earlier in the day. 
again, we just tease him into the corner there and just go to town. It's going really well. This deer can kind of run away from you and uh, mess up the hits there, but we need to get 15 hits and then we get to move on. Now we get a portal gun, kind of. So now we can make our own portals. Like that. Like that. <laughs> And that's another instance of being able to trip and use the item as well for a, a portal side in this case. Yeah, that's so weird. That port that uh that turnip doesn't have a face. What's with that? This is another rabbit that can get in your way, but it's being nice to us. That's the nicest it's been all day. Honestly. <laughs> Never that good to us. So now we've gone on two of our fetch quests for Annie here, our little friend with the avocado on her back. And uh, we got to use the key that she just gave us to go through this door. Now we can go to the last quest for Annie. And not to build up the suspense too much, but this boss is going to blow your mind. You're not going to believe what our final boss is. It's crazy. Who would have guessed it's the deer a third time? You want to talk about the strats here, Rar? Because they're um, cool. <laughs> it's really just making use of the portals. You, they have uh, four of the portal pedals around, and then you just utilize the uh, portal the potted pedal portal to. I, I am. I swear, I speak English as a primary language. <laughs> <laughs> that was about as clean as that fight can go as well. All these bosses have been very nice to us. So now we're gonna... You basically trap him with portals and explode him, is what I was trying to get at. <laughs> yep, because now that we have the portal gun, you can build a portal under where the boss is going to be, and then get the AI to chase you up on top of the portal, then push bombs into the portal, and they explode on impact. So now we head back and report our last set of findings to Annie. And we get rewarded for it with the Explorer hat, because we're a field researcher. Get it? A field? <laughs> We've got some sentient acorns around now, too. And this one wants some real estate, so he gives us a leaf to trade for it. Yeah. The, uh, the housing market has apparently crashed, and one leaf will get you there. Well, it is just farm plots. Yeah, well, that's fair. <laughs> So backtracking a bit through the forest, uh, probably time for one or two donations now, yeah? Yeah. You got it. Here is a $25 donation from Bumble Chubbs. <laughs> Looks like I turniped just in time. <laughs> so good leak on your run. I know you'll beat this game just fine, but be sure not to artichoke. Uh, let us enjoy this silly block fully and get the announcer to really earn his celery. Kale in with all your corniest vegetable puns. <laughs> okay, talk to you, Tater. God, that was... <sighs> that was fantastic. I... I have my own opinions. Anyway, uh, $25 here from uh, Ruin. Thank goodness I didn't miss Silly Block even though I overslept. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. All right. We got one more thing to pick up. And tear. I mean, there's a couple more, but there's one real quick here. So now we talk to the IRS, and they tell us that we can't get into that area because it's blocked off, whatever, whatever. But it's fine. We'll go unlock it. The item to unlock it, however, they tell us is in the graveyard. Yeah. So you got to go so, talk to uh, this potato. I'm going to talk to this, this ripe old potato. It lets us into the graveyard. And now we go through the graveyard. And now just a little bit of grape digging. Only a little bit. Yeah. Whoever belong, whoever that belonged to doesn't need it anymore. It was his hat. He was number one. <laughs> yeah, ripping up some more documents. Put the portal there. Nice. Uh, you may have noticed that we're going in very specific directions. This is very reminiscent of uh, The Lost Woods of Zelda. You go the wrong way, you have to start all over. But, you know, we're speedrunners. We know the directions. Yep. 
So some of those some of those puzzles are a little esoteric. The last room before here, uh, in this room with all these pumpkins, each pumpkin tells you, like, the one next to me is lying, but the one above me is telling the truth. And then that one will say the other one's lying, and he's lying, and you have to figure out the direction based on that. So they're very they're fun, silly little puzzles, but we don't have time to talk to 12 pumpkins. we got to go fast. We, uh, uh, not safe flip-flop. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we gave that child her phone back and she asked us to sign a petition and we ripped the petition in half. This is actually the point in the marathon strat, at least, that we're taking a deviation from the normal route in order to go get our bird hat. Yep, so normally we do some other cleanup before we get bird hat, but we want to get that bird hat on as fast as possible, so now we go, we bring a letter from the other potato to this potato, and then that potato gives us a letter to give to the other potato. So we have to walk back. And this is a perfect time for donations. Yep. You have about a minute and a half. <laughs> so Bird Hat is still in the lead, but uh, Top Hat has been closing the gap a little bit, so I'll keep an eye on that for you. Mm. All right. Uh, here is a $75 donation from Sadie. Got up early to watch Wolfie play Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Your friends Sadie, Nellie, Fen, Ericus, and Delsaire are here to support your root vegetable-based tax evasion journey. <laughs> uh, Tay Tay donated five dollars. Was just thinking of throwing in some cash for one of my favorite people and watching a new silly game I never heard of before. Good luck with the run, Wolfie. And here's to Doctors Without Borders. And I have and a $20 here from a Draconair. You may be able to evade taxes, but you cannot evade my 5 a.m. support. Less than <laughs> three. Good luck, Wolfie. $25 here from Davin Turnip Boy. More like Best Boy. <laughs> and then uh, $25 here from Demon Fire saying, Hello, it is me, Mr. Definitely Not the IRS. Can someone please tell me where I can find Turnip Boy for definitely not IRS-related purposes? <laughs> no. Nope. We'll never narc on our boy. Anyway, now we have the bird hat, and it is time to use the shovel. So we're going to head back up to this bunker. Uh, that's obviously what that was. Also, that snow up there is going to be important way. later. Just saying hi to Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. We'll deal with Jerry later. Jerry owes some rent. But we'll deal with it later. Oh, what should you do in a radiation emergency? Probably rip up the instructions. Yeah! Always. And we got some radioactive beans. They're behaving mostly. Some definitely safe hair dye. Turn to leaves. <laughs> well, now we get to meet the vegetable's worst enemy. Fire. I'll grab those. Gonna get cozy in bed and read about the. Oh, sun. the Sun Times. Let's tear it in half. Fun part about that is fire does what fire does. It spreads. So it spreads to vegetables and wooden objects. And it gets all the barriers out of our way. Just tearing up a little girl's diary. Now we have a hazmat suit, which protects you from fire. Did Don't you know? Mind the glowing closet. Yeah, that's. That's normal. I think that's how hazmat suits work. Uh, yeah. Now we get to meet the most fun enemy in the game, the ham. Ham. It inverts your controls. Wolfie, of course, dealing with the inverted controls super smoothly. Something okay. I'm incapable of doing. <laughs> that's a pretty tight it, timing getting the fire over there, but should be fine here. Yeah. If you are not expecting the inverted controls, it is definitely a surprise. And then right. here's the big the opportunity for the biggest uh, trick. And I got is, it. You got it. Or nice. So there's a cut scene there that we uh, we skip by kind of pause buffering at a fairly specific time. Um, it's I think what two frames to hit that skip. Uh, I'm not entirely. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is. I think it it's is. one frame. It's hard. It is very much a trick that looks easy but is not. Oh. Liz's fight is very, very, very tough. <sighs> Liz is the worst boss of the game. She can definitely. Uh, this bully is the cutscene we skipped last time. So, ideally, 
we set Liz on fire here, and since we don't take damage from fire, we can kind of chain that fire. Look. And so it'll set us on fire, which sets her on fire, which sets us on fire, which sets her on fire. She takes damage and we don't. Uh, other than that, we're just looking to hit some crits. And this should be... There we go. Nice, there's Liz's fight. Second try, Liz is genuinely very good. It's not an easy boss. All right, now that we've uh, beaten Liz, that is all four of the bosses done. Or four of the bosses done, I guess I should say. And we are going to go to, uh, turn in this laser pointer to Mayor Onion. Yeah, we've collected all the things the mayor asked for. Got to bring them back. Um, we could probably get one or two donations here while we're just rolling back to the mayor. All right. Uh, you know, here's one uh, that was sitting around from a little earlier. I figured uh, I'd mention it because it's our very own Happy Buy 3 with $25. Oh. Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your comment was, if you didn't know, <laughs> Silly Block <laughs> truly is the most wonderful time of the year, and I need these prizes. What a stacked prize list right now. Bravo to the whole Deer Squad on starting us off right. And then um, here, here's one uh, also for you. Um, don't know if you're comfortable with this. You make the choice. Kronos donating fifty dollars, saying this incentive goes toward petting the dog IRL. <laughs> no pressure. Don't have to. But <laughs> you can pet that dog. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> no alarm's going off. So while we were doing that, uh, we popped by and took care of Jerry. Uh, Jerry owed some rent money to the blueberry out front of his pasture, and so we stabbed Jerry with the shovel and took his rent money and gave it to. Uh, the person he owed money to. That was unintentional, but now it's it works. jazz time. So now we're in the mafia base because you know we had some deer. Now we want to have some miscuzi and uh, hang out with the mob a little bit. But you might notice the mob's not really here. It's a little bit dilapidated. Uh, that should work. I think that's good. Maybe? Yeah, nice. That's just a little trick to make it easy. Instead of having to push it around and put kick bombs around, you just drop the uh, move melon right in place. Yeah, that um, the intended solution for that puzzle is really complex, but we just kind of skip it. So I'm going to grab another book here. Layers to the, the, layers onion, to the, the onion, the Mayor Onion Manifesto. Let's rip in half. And then... Probably the fastest death warp in the game. Why death warp ourselves when we can death warp everything on Earth? <laughs> All right, now it is cleanup time. So now at this point we can go and beat up the uh, mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd was real excited about that one. They were. <laughs> Yep, but, we returned the, the unmutated cat to its owner. And to celebrate, she made a drawing of us, and we did what we do with things. Oh, this is so nice. We got the uh, real estate letter, so now we can go let the acorn know that he earned his real estate. This is another room where uh, we kind of look at the intended strat and go, eh, that's a lot of effort, and do it in a much faster, much easier way. And here you're saying the payoff of all those side quests we started earlier, the hammer for the pickle gang to get them out of that pickle jar, and some wood that, uh, don't know if that's legal or not, when everyone is a plant. Also, we're ripping up a DVD. A DVD, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if I can do that. So you see this trophy here? Uh, we're not going to get it. <laughs> We found out maybe two weeks ago that um, we don't actually need that trophy for 100%. So everybody got a nice time save on their PB because we suddenly don't have to go collect an entire object. Yeah, I think that came up in conversation one day in Discord, and I was just like, hmm, I'm curious. And I went and checked it, and sure enough. It's just kind of amazing that... No one thought to check. <laughs> yeah. 
This is my, my plea to every other speedrun community. Just double check. <laughs> Don't be us. <laughs> FYI, Top Hat only trailing Bird Hat by about $75 right now. Ooh. Getting Ooh. close. One donation could get a Top Hat on for the final boss fight. All right, uh, we didn't address this dog earlier, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk to the dog to pet it. We pet the dog. <laughs> uh, the sign next to him I, says that all tangerine dogs will cease to exist when the game is beaten, whatever that means. And what it, what it means in game sense is 100%, not just uh, beating a boss. So that's a nice built-in check we have for the hundo run that we can... Uh, Collect all of our stuff. Oh, look, he owns real estate. Oh, okay. Um, Actually, so the tangerine dogs being remo uh, disappearing doesn't mean 100%. It means beating the game. It, because behind that would be normally a directory of where your missing items are. Yeah. We can use it as a nice, nice check here to confirm that we're ready to move on to kind of the last phase of the run. Uh, talk to that guy twice because why not? He, he, he seemed lovely. He seemed nice. <laughs> now we're headed up to uh, clean up some some of the side quests we started, like the uh, the pickle mafia wanted that hammer so they could escape. So obviously they give us a fedora in exchange for bringing them the hammer. Talk to him a second time to trigger the actual escape cutscene. Go down here real quick and talk to our potato friend to get a farmer hat. But what is a farmer? Question. That is, that's a great question. In a world of vegetables, what is a farmer? And now, because the pickle gang got away, we get another heart fruit. I believe we're on our last leg now to the final boss. Yep, there's about, uh, I'd say about four minutes left. Assuming everything goes well. So we're just gonna go over here, solve another little puzzle with portals. Uh, it's not nothing too different than what you've seen before, so prolix. All right, uh, people are getting really creative out there. Here is a $10 donation from Joey and Celis saying, been looking forward to this run all week. We belief in you. Hope these <laughs> puns won't moss you up now. I'm sure you'll be able to just green and bear it. Love from your favorite egg, plants. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, $25 here from Wavestormed. Hi, one of the old turnip boy devs here. Thank you for running the game for such a good cause. Love and appreciate you all, smiley face. And twenty-five dollars from Jimmy Deuces. Loving this run. Please tell the dog we love them. <laughs> Doing great, kid. We love our Turnip Boy devs in this chat. Not only giving us a, a speedrun timer built into the game, but um, hosting the speedrun community within their developers' Discord and just being generally very supportive of us. Now we're on to our final boss fight. So there we beat up the IRS, and then uh, he has a magical sequence. Gotta have a magic girl transformation. You gotta. Especially when you go mad with power. Yeah, it's so a JRPG. lead him over to this corner here. So now when people ask what your favorite JRPG is, you don't need to uh, start a Final Fantasy argument. You can just say Turnip Boy. I don't know if it's too late, but Top Hat has taken the lead. <laughs> Never too late. Pause mid-boss fight, Never put on your Top late. Hat. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> However, it would not be a true JRPG unless our final boss was the god of the universe. Well, god of taxes, at least. <laughs> god of taxes. <laughs> it, this isn't even my final form. <laughs> so now we're on the moon, I guess? And Mayor Onion has turned into God Onion. Um, and the IRS has realized the error of their ways and has chosen to support us in our fight against Mayor Onion. Unfortunately for them... It took them 30 minutes. Ow. 
Unfortunately for them, uh, we don't accept their apology. Yeah. Um, our, our method of accepting their help is to throw bombs at them that launch them into Mayor Onion to damage him. And we get some, some banging J-pop. That's our last hit on God Onion. All right. Time is coming up after I rip the last document here. And time. That's a really good run. That might be a PB. I think. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a fantastic run. Uh, uh, all right. Well, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who showed up today uh, for showing up this early to a uh, run. Uh, everyone who donated and did all those silly puns. Perfect for silly block. <laughs> uh, you guys are great. All of y'all. Um, you guys got any shout outs you want to give? I mean, we already shout out the devs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shout out the devs for sure. Shout out the whole Turnip Boy community. Super fun, supportive folks. Um, shout out to everyone else in Silly Block for being the best reason to wake up at 4 a.m. ever. Yeah. Uh, if you want to look at more runs and see what RAR has done or anyone else, uh, you go to, what is, is it TBC? I can't remember the abbreviation off the top of my head right now. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. Uh, speedrun.com, we have our own thing there. Yep. Uh, we have a Discord, snooze, the Snoozy Kazoo, the devs uh, Discord itself. Uh, everyone will be happy to help you learn. Uh, I got third place after like two months of them helping. So uh, they, they, they'll make you world record holders. <laughs> yeah, super, super kind, supportive community for sure. Uh, all right, I think that's it. Yeah, thank you so much, y'all. It was fun. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, keep the love going out there for Eldritch Wolfie and that wonderful run of Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion. Thank you so much for that. Uh, while you were running, we had a $15 donation from Suraku Maka saying, can't believe my girl Wolfie really out here evading taxes for a good cause and missing our weekly D&D session. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. Uh, there are more Turnip Boy-related donation comments in here than I could possibly ever get around to, so thank you all for your generosity. Um, my time on the mic is drawing to a close for now, but I will be back a Saturday, probably around the afternoon, you know, for Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, and uh, Super Hot VR. That's right, a VR run right here on the GDQ main stage. Now, before I take off, though, I would be remiss if I did not remind you of something. Uh, chat, uh, you would be in rarefied air and in good company if you have um, Amazon Prime. Uh, because I have Amazon Prime. And I just wanted to let you know that if you have Amazon Prime, then you also have Prime Gaming, a.k.a. the former Twitch Prime. And one of the benefits of Prime Gaming is a free channel subscription on Twitch.tv to any channel of your choice once a month, but it doesn't automatically refresh. So, so many Prime subs go to waste. So if you haven't used yours yet lately, consider using it here. Thanks a lot. And Summer Games Done Quick 2022 will continue shortly right after this.
Chris GDQ, how you doing? Ooh, we got Prolix in the front row passing out Red Bull to the people. Look at that! That's GDQ 22 brought to you by Red Bull. There it is. Uh, hi there, howdy, hello, welcome to Summer Games on Quick 2022, powered by Twitch, live and in person, beaming to you from the effer, effervescent stream room here in blessedly beautiful Bloomington. Minnesota. It's me, it's me, your best friend, Cardi B. And I am so very, very glad to be here with you. I'm Jack, because we get to spend all of Thursday morning together, you and me, all of us, together, as a group, as a party, as a family. Uh, we've got some hot speed runs benefiting Doctors Without Borders coming up very soon. You know, we've raised so much money this week for such an amazing cause, because if you absolutely, elamicenary bunch of fine, fine human beings, we're almost at $900,000. You can clap for that, you can clap for that. But for real, I'm here all morning. I'm looking out, I'm looking out at you right now, crowd. I'm looking out at you. I'm here all morning. I wanna hit a million. I wanna hit a million. We dream big here, okay? I wanna soar past a million. I wanna take a million and power bomb it through a table, okay? That is what we're doing here. Up next, we got Gulo 2, we got Ghost Kuma. They're gonna be playing Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an Engine. It's got engines in it. I don't know if you knew that. Um, but first, let me read a few of your donations. I woke up to the morning, uh, this morning to the uh, dulcet tones of uh, people yelling, Dear! So uh, let me read it. Thank you, thank you. That was, that was a cue, yeah. Um, so let's read a few donations here. We got $15 from Flack. Dear SGDQ. Loving the silly block. Turnip Boy is super adorbs. Ador orbs, get it? Thanks for all you guys, thanks for all you guys do for Doctors Without Borders. Hype! Gosh, we get to do hype in the morning? It's 7 a.m. I love it. I love the energy. I love the energy y'all are bringing. $25 from Lucky Lakes. Turn up for what? That's pretty good. That was pretty good. That was, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, 25 from Akira Katayama. Silly block is best block, so it deserves another donation. Keep up the zany, and let's revel in the silly by hitting 900K before it's over. I said a million, Akira. I said a million. We're doing a million now. But we're going to hit 900K. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. You're going to love it. Yes, 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 yes. Cheer for everything. <laughs> I want your hands hurting in the next few hours, okay? Pat the legs, clap the hands, stomp the feet, let's go. We've got $100 from Ninjestra. So hype for another SGDQ. Greetings from a very warm Sweden. Well, greetings from a very warm Bloomington, Minnesota. It's getting warmer and warmer. I'm from Atlanta and it's really hot down there. I was like, I'm gonna go north. It's gonna be so much nicer. And I walked outside and I'm like, oh cool, I'm dying still. This is great, I love it. Um, uh, let's see. We've got $25 from Lou. Looking forward to Turnip Boy showing how it's done. I think he did. Now, if you're, if you're asking, saying, looking forward to Tony, Turnip Boy showing how it's done, as in he's showing you how to do tax evasion, legally we can't do that. Um, that is not allowed here on Summer Games Done Quick 2022, uh, powered by Twitch. But, you know, uh, I'm sure you can <laughs> do that. No, we're not endorsing that. It's fine. Um... Let's see, we've got $25 from Aegis Wing. Hey, Wolfie, I did the math. With Turnip Boy being five days old and having racked up a tax debt of $143,753, he's been taxed at a rate of, rounded up, $19.97 a minute. Also, a $13 additional charge for pickles on a $16 sandwich. Truly, this is the garden punk future that lies ahead of us. Dark, dark days. Thank you so much, Aegis Wing. We got $20 from Christmas. I'm looking into the future for more bonus games. The sooner we meet the bonus game incentive for sound Voltex Exceed gear, the sooner we can meet the glitch Pokemon BDSP run to see how a four hour run goes down to 25 minutes. Let's crush every bonus game incentive and keep SGDQ running as long as possible. All right, sound Voltex, it's amazing. It's, it's one of the coolest rhythm games in the world. We are at $20,000 out of 200,000 needed to unlock Sound Voltex, and that's, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be easy. You got this, you got this. 
I, I, I haven't even opened Twitch chat yet. And I'm telling you, Twitch chat, hold on, I'm mentally focusing. I can sense you. Twitch chat, can you hear me? Twitch chat, I'm reaching out to you. We're going to unlock Sound Voltex. Do you hear me? Do you, yes, yes, you're feeling the connection. That's right, excellent. Donate towards Sound Voltex. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Yes, they hear me. I get it. $25 from Lemon Carrots. This is the cutest turnip I've seen all day. Have you seen a lot of cute turnips, Lemon Carrots? That's, you lead an interesting life. $10 from Elise. Fun fact, charitable donations are tax deductible, which means we can all be like Turnip Boy and skip out on our taxes by supporting a great cause. $5 from Druby. Silly block is best block. You're not wrong. We've got a lot of really, 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 really silly games coming up. Jimmy Johnson's Anything. I'm looking at the title screen for Jimmy Johnson's Anything with an engine right now. And um, it's got Jimmy Johnson on it. So there's that. A $100 from Corundum Core. Good morning, everyone, and happy Silly Block. A friendly reminder to those who are able to donate to save your donation receipt. Many employers will match charitable donations, and that's more money to MSF, which is always a good thing. You're not wrong. Now, I don't know if we've talked about it yet. I think I did a little bit. We are benefiting Doctors Without Borders here at Summer Games Done Quick 2022. And uh, it is, as I've said in my previous shifts, in my opinion... And this is not a this is this is not an a spouse one. I'm just saying this personally. The best charity in the world. Okay, and so all of your dollars that go toward Doctors Without Borders are going to an amazing charity. So please, please, every little bit helps. It doesn't matter if you're donating five dollars, the minimum donation. If you're donating ten dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars. Don't if you can. That's amazing. Um, all of it goes towards Doctors Without Borders, which is amazing. $100 from Yukon. Hello from the Turnip Boy devs over at Snoozy Kazoo. I'm so happy our little game could turn up at GDQ. All these donations for a good cause can't be beat. B-E-E-T. I hope reading my donation isn't too taxing on you. And I wish Wolfie the best of luck. Thank you so much, Yukon. Thank you so much to the Turnip Boy devs. I love it when devs donate. That's awesome. Did I hear booze in the crowd for that one? <laughs> That's okay. $50 from Sarai. Going to donate for the Silly Block, one of my brother and husband's favorite parts of the week. Plus, that prize block looks sweet. Okay, oh, you want to talk about prizes? I don't even know if Mr. Game and Shout's awake yet, but we've got some really cool prizes that you qualify for right now. The fully assembled GBA Consolizer, the Cedric the Owl Amigurumi, the Turnip Boy Plush, the Kirby Amigurumi doll, the Ride and Lightning Print, the Gourmet Warriors Perlers. You haven't even seen Gourmet Warriors, Gourmet Warriors yet? It's ridiculous looking. You gotta get the Perlers. The Kirby Warp Star painting. There, there's, there's a lot of prizes going on right now. And of course, every single one of your donations cumulatively goes towards that grand prize of the Heroic Replicas Faustian and Sly Cooper Kane bundle. You get that cool Fire Emblem sword. You get that Sly Cooper cane. I feel like if we're giving you the Sly Cooper cane, we're kind of endorsing you towards doing crimes. But we've been talking about tax invasion all morning, so, you know, uh, there's a lot of just sort of legal loopholes here. $5 from Lawrence Y. It's been years since I started watching A slash SGDQ. This time, I can finally afford to donate something for the cause, Keep doing this great job less than three. Thank you so much, Lawrence. All right, folks. I want you in the chat with me, in the audience with me. Listen. I want you to close your eyes. Can you close your eyes for me? Close your eyes. I see you doing it. I love it. Imagine with me. Think of things with engines, okay? Lots of stuff probably comes to mind. Cars, planes, boats, lawnmowers, tractors, bathtubs, dumpsters, Jimmy Fallon. Now open your eyes. It's real. It's here. An auto racing legend, Jimmy Johnson, is serving it up to you on the PlayStation 3. Now smell it. Smell, smell, smell. Okay, that's weird. You can't smell video games. But I smell a speedrun right now because it's ghoul.